G'day guys, Chris Redondo here, Fluorcraft Engineering. Uh, we are in the progress stage of our brand new facility. So this is our very first video, and what I'd like to do today is just share a little bit about the plan we have for Fluorcraft, the vision, uh, the, the workshop layout. Uh, this has been two years in the planning, so it's very nice to be able to sink our teeth into this, this project and um, really put um, action to to what we've been putting onto paper here. So yeah, so excited about this and um, yeah, really excited to show you guys what we've got in store. Okay, so right now we're standing in our vehicle loading bay. So what will happen is customers will come in and have a, a hydraulic component, probably a cylinder or something like that, motor, pump, whatever, uh, will come and back in here. And what you can see behind and up above me is a four ton overhead crane. So specifically designed for this building, for us, for Fluorcraft to fit exactly in the span of the building. So we, we, as you can see, the columns had to be put in, they had to be fixed to the ground. Uh, and all the, um, the main girder of the crane had to be specifically made for this span and for the weight that we wanted. As you know, big round things made out of metal are pretty heavy. So um, being able to lift them and move them around the shop to their different stages of repair is it's gonna be an invaluable asset for us really. So. Um, so great to be able to do it right from the start, put it in here, um, not have little cranes in every little nook and cranny or at every station, just one big crane over the top. Yeah, thanks to Ilbeck, shout out to, uh, yeah, shout out to Ilbeck, Aussie Manufacturing, love it, support them all the way. In most cases, it'll probably go onto our strip bench, so our strip bench will be sitting in the middle. We need that bench in the middle because we need to work on every side of that. On the end of that uh, strip bench, we'll have our testing facility. So once we've finished rebuilding the cylinder, we'll be able to test it as well. Very important. All right, so over here, uh, in this very front corner, pretty excited. Got a brand new CNC lathe coming. So Akuma LB4000, Mickey Mouse, Japanese made. Um, it's a, it's, you wouldn't really call it a lathe. It's more like a machining or a turning center, they call it these days. So. You don't just have your two axes, you also have a third axis, so you can do actually like milling and make square objects in a lathe. So, very, very cool. Uh, and then we'll have our, um, our traditional type lathe. So, being cylinders, working with big cylinders, uh, we need lathes, manual lathes, uh, for our maintenance, repair, overhaul, whatever we're doing. Um, and we'll have a few different sizes of them uh, lined up here. So you can, you can see on the wall, there's outlets, um, and there for um, our different rows of, of machines and, and in this case, in this section is lathes. Behind that uh, is our uh, technician benches. So we're gonna have four individual technicians benches so they can work on their own, have their own set of tools. If they've got specialty tools, each technician will have their own set of specialty tools. So very nice. In the back corner here, so in that back corner, we're gonna have a spray booth. So it's about a four meter opening at the front about a four meter, de four meter depth. So that'll cover a good range of our cylinders that we, that we rebuild. Moving to the uh, back in, into the center is our home. So we'll have a honing machine uh, there. So we can um, re-hone barrels, really get that surface finished Mickey Mouse so we can get that extended seal life in the rebuild, on the in the cylinders uh, and get maximum life out of the rebuild. Uh, in the back corner here, so you can see where there's three, uh, there's a couple of three phase outlets there and a 32 amp outlet. Uh, welding bay, that's gonna be our welding bay. So a lot of fabricating, a lot of welding with cylinders. Um, and we are also gonna have next to that uh, some CNC plasma cutting facilities. So we'll be able to cut 1500 by three meter sheet and then we'll be able to cut up to 25 mil thick. So very, very handy. We'll be able to cut custom spanners to fit into our nutcracker on our strip bench. Uh, very, very important. So I'm standing here um, where the mezzanine will be. So it'll come out this way and this way, uh, about four meters high to the, to the floor level. Um, and we'll have our stairs running up this way. Um, underneath our mezzanine we'll have nice clean area seal order stations, um, specialty tooling, everything in drawers. Uh, it's gonna look Mickey Mouse. Part of running a manufacturing facility is you need power to run things. So we need 200 amps coming in now, which 
should give us enough to run our CNC machine, our plasma cutter. Obviously, we had to upgrade the board. So if you could, if you could uh, see that little shadow piece on the wall that isn't, hasn't been painted, that was our board. So we've had to uh, extend the cables up into the cable tray. We've put all this cable tray up. So that's a 450 mil wide cable tray. Uh, wrapped that around the whole building. Took me a while to work out how we we're going to get the, the cables around the building because we had to factor in you know, the columns that we've got running around the place. Uh, we can't drop uh, power down from the ceiling either because we have the crane um, coming. Excuse the mess here, it, it is a building site, it is a work site at the moment. We're about 50 to 60 percent through so um, yeah it's been about two years in the planning uh, this building so um, to see it at this stage now is really, really exciting for us. So, Okay guys, so that wraps up our tour of the new floor craft facility. It's still a work in progress. Uh, stay tuned for some more update videos, or probably our last one, one when we get all our machines in here and we start uh, making a mess. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen today, please like, hit subscribe, uh, or put a comment down below in the comments. Thanks very much. See you on the next one.